This blanket disappointed me for the reasons I will tell you now. Hey, I'm Frida and I made a chunky blanket three years ago. It was draped over a couch for one month, then I peacefully put it in the basket for two months and then I tucked it away in the depths of my closet. Why did it end up like this? Let's see. I will open this package now. I used merino wool for this blanket and let me tell you, this looks absolutely gorgeous on the couch as it creates the desired bulky texture. Also, the colors of merino wool are the best in the line and they are super soft. The main factor contributing to its softness is the material itself. It's made of pre wool or unspun wool which gives you that delicate feeling compared to the same spun yarn of the same fiber content. However, there is one major drawback. It's shedding, yes, it's shedding a lot, even though I am pretty sure I used a quality material. The shedding process is continuous. It has been shedding since the beginning, it's still shedding now. Maybe I am not the person who can handle the flyaways of merino wool blankets when used, but this really stops me from using it. This is the yarn that the blanket has left after filming this video. You see. The blanket is heavy. It's not really a problem when you are lying down but it requires more effort to move and to carry it when transporting it from place to place and this leads to constant laziness. The knitted woolen blanket tends to collect a significant amount of dust, especially this one. Merino wool is a delicate material, so it's really easy to ruin its softness. It's crucial to follow the washing instructions made for merino wool blankets. I've come across various recommendations online. One website suggests dry cleaning only. The other one suggests washing it in a cold water. Some even claim that no extra cleaning for merino wool blankets needed. In my case, I tried dry cleaning, but it didn't work out and it didn't resolve the problem of shedding. So I keep this point in this video. Some people may experience only mild irritation from merino wool, while others find this feeling unbearable. It's highly subjective matter. Fortunately, I belong to the lucky group who doesn't face the severe problems in this aspect, but it can be frustrating sometimes. Yarn for chunky blankets can be made from different materials, including wool, acrylic, cotton and blends. Each material has its own characteristics. When comparing yarn options for chunky blanket, uh, consider such factors as weight, softness, material, color and availability to find the best option that suits you and your needs and preferences. As for now, I use this blanket as a placement for things that I need to photograph or film. I have only shared my experience. Uh, if you really want to do a blanket out of merino wool, do it. But know that it's not flawless. I don't really know what should I do with this blanket. Maybe I will keep it, maybe I will do the other things out of this merino wool. 
Uh, maybe you have some ideas? Put it in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, you can subscribe. More videos are coming. Thank you. Bye. Some surprises after filming this video.